Hello everyone, it's Portia E and I'm coming to you with a very quick products video. Products that I've used throughout my lock journey experience. And um, my locks are five years and 10 months. And these are the results of my five year, 10 months locks. I will be six years in January. And these are what my locks look like. So this is it. So I'm going to go through my products just very briefly. Um, at first I was like, well, I only use four products. Um, and I didn't think I had a lot of products in my facade of things in my room. But I began to go through and I'm like, oh, wait, I have used, like, I do have a, a number of products um, that I've used, you know, in the past. Um, but I do stay true to four products only. And I will let you know what those products are. Um, in just a short moment. As far as shampoos are concerned, um, um, I use a shampoo that is not here because I cannot find it anywhere. I think it was fruit of fruit of na um, fruit of nature, um, fruit of nature's remedy or something like that, or or some earth product. It, it was a very very good um, shampoo. I do not have that. I have not been able to able to find that shampoo in quite some time so you won't see that product and as far as gel as well um in the very very beginning i used the very clear aloe gel and um i would find that at walgreens i think it's by nature's something nature i don't i don't even know um but it's the clear aloe, aloe vera 100 gel um in a very clear bottle i think it had a blue top it's hard for me to find that as well. I have not used gels though to actually retwist my hair and probably since my hair was like a year and a half old. So, um, because I haven't retwisted like that. Um, since then I will probably retwist once a year just to pull them all together. But in the past two and a half years, even, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you when the last I did a full retwist. Um, this is pretty what, pretty much what my locks look like I don't need to retwist like that because I just don't I just don't my hair just doesn't do that I mean it obviously grows but my hair is so coarse and so um the ether of it is so like coarse yet fine yet soft I don't even know that it it actually locks right up to the point like I hardly get any growth in there you know so like it locks right up to the point. So that's, I, I don't have to retwist like that. That is a blessing for me actually, because I can really literally just wash and go. Um, as far as my parts and stuff are concerned, the girl that, re that started my locks, she used her fingers. I've never had a comb in my hair, a brush, yes, but not a comb. I've never had a comb. She used her fingers to separate my, my, you know, to do the parting, um, she used her fingers. So I don't have these like manicured parts that a lot of people have. I just don't have that. Um, because again, she used her fingers to retwist. Um, and here, because I like to wear my hair down the middle, I have in the past just gone down the middle to kind of separate those hairs there and just put put them like off to the side, brush them down or whatever. And then, I don't know, they just, I do have like a nice little part in there. But again, that was all done with my fingers. None of my parts were done by comb. I haven't used a comb in my hair in the past five years, 10 months, and I don't plan to use one. I don't need it. Um, so let's get right into my products. Um, as far as shampoos are concerned, I stay faithful and use these two products. This is... Um, the tea tree shampoo I use that like almost every wash um, I have in the past and still often use um, this 
black soap, do the Osan um, Tropical Black Soap. My hair loves this soap. If I really feel like I need a deep cleanse, a deep wash, my scalp throughout the locks, I will use this. Um, and then the tea tree is like my main, pretty much go-to shampoo. Um, I have in the past used the coconut milk um, shampoo because it was given to me. I've used this line as well as um, the coconut milk anti-breakage um, serum, I guess. I've used that. And I have also used this um, coconut water hydrating oil. I've used that. Now, this is a very good smelling product. Um, sometimes if I'm going out, I, I like to have this so that I can just spray, you know, the length of my locks just so that they're nice, they're smelling good. This is the product that you want. This is really good. And it has a nice little spritzer um, container there if you want to, like if you can see that. It has a nice little spritzer bottle, um, spray bottle top. So I've used those products. Again, not really faithful to them, but, but I've used them. They're very good products. They're good um, for moisture. If you need like that moisture in your scalp and in your locks, that is a very good product um, that I have used. As far as for moisture, and this year I have used um, this as like a hydrating, reactivating moisture in my scalp for my locks. This is a very good product because in the past I've wanted to use um, or to locate something for the change of the seasons between our summer, autumns, and winter. And um, this now is a product that I've found. I have not had um, the problem of the transition now because I've started using that in August. I have not had that like, oh my God, my products need, my, my, my locks need something they need moisture they need water they need something i've not had that problem since i've been using this and again usually august september that's like i'm like oh my god what am i going to use um and i've found another very very good product that i really also like and i use it now more than this um and that is this carefree curl gold instant activator I have used this in my scalp. Um, I've used this at night um, just to moisturize inside, you know, my scalp. And I would use this plastic cap um, just to throw all the locks in there for like 15, 20 minutes, even before I would go to bed. I would use that. I would use this on just my scalp. Again, these are not, these are not used on the length of my locks, no. I use this just for my scalp for the purposes of, um, you know, rehydrating, moisturizing, giving my scalp what it needs as far as that. Um, so I've stayed true. I stay true to this. This. And My Kusa Coconut Oil. I love this product. I've used this product from the beginning, um, from the beginning of time with my Lux. This is a very good um, cocoa smelling product. I use that product on, um, I use the Kusa Coconut Oil mostly for my edges um, just to, because sometimes they get a little bit drier than the remainder of my, of my hair, you know, and of my scalp. So I use this just right around just to, you know, manicure those, keep them moist, keep them um, kind of, I guess, hydrated. I don't know. This does my edges as well as my scalp very, very well. My locks, my hair loves it. My scalp loves it. Um, so I stay true to this at all times. I have not given this product up, not once. I've used this and I love it, love it, love it. Um, as far as, did I show you my water bottle? <laughs> I go to, yeah, I should go to my water bottle. Um, and I also use a smaller water bottle with, it just has drops of, one or two drops of rosemary oil. Um, this is also very good. Um, I just picked this up because I, um, I see other people do it on YouTube, <laughs> okay? And I mix it in with water. But you know what? 
I don't really see any results as far as um, the strengthening of the hair and all that stuff, but it gives it a nice, good um, smell, you know? Like if you want to just go, you don't really want the coconutty smell, but you want like a nice, for me, I like, um, I'm getting much older. I, I, hate, I don't like fruity um, odors and scents. It just overwhelms me. It just makes me nauseous and sick. I just, I can't. But this, like, you know, you know how rosemary smells. It's very kind of piney, outdoorsy. That's that's my scent. Like, I like that. I like that. So I put a few drops of that in here with um, my very, another favorite um, oil that I've used throughout the length of my time is the macadamia nut oil. The macadamia, I'm sorry, it's the macadamia oil. All right. So I also love this. My locks have loved this. Now I will use this on the length of my locks just to add luster um, if I feel like it needs it, which I hardly use these. I hardly use these. But when I do, um, if I feel like I need to, you know, oh, I want a little more shine, I will, I will use these. Um, and I use this to, you know, kind of spritz the hair. And then this to coat it. Um, just so that, you know, there's a nice little shine. And again, these are not oils that like are getting all over your clothes or anything like that. No, these are just oils that um, soak into the length, you know, soak into the length of my hair. And it's very good. I haven't used this in quite some time. Again, this, this comes more during the autumn and winter months, like January, February, March, I will be using these um, quite often. I have in the past, because it was given to me again, I have used um, the Shea Butter Oil. Comes in a small little, cute little bottle like this. It's so tiny. My sister actually gave me this. Um, and she also gave me the Argan Oil. This little Argan Oil. This is this is a pretty good product. I actually like this one. Um, even more so than the Shea Butter. And she also gave me a Tea Tree Oil um as well which i shared with a friend of mine because she loves the tea tree oil um for her hair so i ended up giving that oil to my friend um and also for the length of my locks <laughs> i use this product um this is more so i use it on for makeup purposes to take off my makeup um but this has such a good smell it's the johnson's baby oil lavender this has such a good smell to it and such a nice luster that I have used this on the ends of my locks. Um, I've used this gel, baby oil, the Johnson's baby oil gel. I've used this pretty much from the beginning um, of my locks. So to give it luster and shine at some times, I will just take a handful and go down each, you know, each side and I will use that. So that. I love those. Um, those are pretty much the products that, that I've used pretty much throughout the time. Um, and again, more so I stay faithful to now and in the past two years probably is the Kuza Coconut Oil. Um, this, I'm sorry, this I've used pretty faithfully in the winter time. I don't really need stuff like that in the summer. Tea tree, I stay true to that. And my doodle sun, I stay true to that. Sorry. My doodle o sun, I stay true to that. And again, more so this now um, for a moisturizer. And again, I'm not pulling that moisturizer all the way through to the ends of my life. It doesn't need it. I use that more so for this, for my scalp. All right. And today is actually going to be wash day. It is a Sunday, November 6th, I think. I don't even know. Um, but this is now, today is going to be my wash day. And some of you have been with me to put my dye in. So today I'm actually going to try to use um, these products, which came in from my dye as well. Everything's upside down. Um, so these came in with the dye. So I'm going to try that this time. Let's go around as um, a shampoo. 
and conditioner. And these were just sample packs that came into with my L'Oreal Excellence Cream Dye Conditioner um, Dye. So I'm going to use these um, just to see what it does because because it was in there and it was free. Um, so I am going to try those. All right. So I'm not um, I'm not a crazy person that I, I I'm just not one of those like product people that I just want to try everything. I'm just a very plain Jane with everything around my world is just very plain, very simple. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And that's pretty much what I have done when I do. Um, again, this year I did use this product, um, and the coconut milk line, um, only because like I said, it was given to me. And again, they're very good. Um, I'm sorry. They're very good for moisture. Um, if you want to look for a moisture balance in your hair, this is a pretty good shampoo. And um, these are pretty good products actually to go along with that line. So that is pretty much my products um, video, my products haul. If you guys um, want to follow me or go and see how I have dyed my hair and how I have watched, watched it, um, you can go to my... Um, to the L'Oreal Excellence, um, where I actually dyed my hair and I washed it and I took you in the shower with me and I hope you really enjoyed that video as well. Um, but those are my products and um, that is what I've used on my locks. So that is it. Um, I had more products than I thought, so that was pretty good. So that's my products video and I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to um, hit the like button if you like it. Um, describe. Um, go into the description box maybe I will put a little something in there for you to read um, and to latch on to all right so I will um, talk to you later and see you real soon <laughs>